This is a crisis and if nothing is done, we will lose our population of vouchers. They play a critically important role because vultures have evolved over thousands of years to do the job that they do, which is by their physiology, by the structure of their bills, etc. They are able to consume and clean up the carcasses of dead animals from the landscape, and by doing so, they provide an incredibly important sanitary service by removing uh, this dead material. That could potentially play a role in the spread of certain diseases, etc. working with the first one the other two people can sit down because believe you me you get tired holding the bird because it's it's going to take you lots of time you see the bird doing this or going limp tell us so we can have a look assess and then if we need to we'll let the bird go they might surprise us and just <clears throat> come straight down again yeah we are here in Zambia uh, Zambia is a landlocked country in the heart of South Central Africa uh, with still fortunately a lot of uh, pristine wilderness, much of it protected in large wildlife reserves. Uh, Zambia is very fortunate to, uh, to still have very large populations of vultures. In general, well, we know vultures are declining rapidly. But so far, Zambia uh, is relatively lucky. Well, we don't have exact figures what sort of numbers we have in Zambia, but we're certainly talking uh, thousands of birds still of uh, four different species in quite a few of the national parks so pretty much spread out over, uh, over Zambia still. We are currently working on an initiative to fit satellite tracking to a significant number of birds, not just here in Zambia, but also in other countries in Africa. We are able to use the birds that we are tracking to also assist us to detect poisoning incidents should they happen in the landscape. So each of those units do have a mortality sensor uh, inserted into them and they also have accelerometers that sort of monitor the movement and the position of the bird, whether it's on the ground or sitting on a perch. If it's feeding and it leans forward, it records that the bird is actively feeding. And in that way, managers on the ground can be alerted of either dead birds on the ground or uh, large feeding events at carcasses and what they can then go and do is investigate and determine what the cause of death of those animals were. Yeah, the, the reason for the what we call currently call the African vulture crisis is fairly complex. There are a variety of threats. The, the biggest driver of the declines that we've seen over the last 30 plus years has been poisoning of various forms. There's uh, direct or intentional poisoning where people deliberately kill vultures on the one hand. And then of course there's a big trade in vulture parts, uh, body parts in particular West and Southern Africa where people deliberately kill these birds, use some of the body parts that they then sell uh, within the belief use trade, where people use vulture parts for various, various beliefs. So what we are trying as a, um, as a group of organizations involved, Birth by Zambia, together with partners, is to, to get an understanding of, of these isolated populations of vultures, how they function within that landscape, uh, what their relation is with with the area itself, as well as the management of the area. So we are talking, you know, um, intactness of the ecosystem, but also human threats like, uh, like poaching and potential poisoning. 
as well as getting an idea of whether there's any exchange between these areas and if so, what are the common flight routes, which will also give an idea of which areas outside the, the well-protected areas are critical for the long-term survival. In 2021, we fitted nine vouchers with tracking units in the Luangwa Valley at Luambe National Park. And this year, we have fitted a total of 20 vouchers in Liwa, Bangweulu, and Kasanka National Park. And we look forward to expanding our samples across Zambia. I think it's very important that we should have international collaboration when it comes to voucher conservation because for starters, vultures move very long distances in search of food, crossing many borders. So they've, they've shown us from the ones that we've tagged that the transboundary movement, therefore localizing efforts is futile to the protection of vultures. It is therefore important that we work together to try and conserve these important birds. And it's almost unthinkable that with the current rate of threat, the impacts that they are facing, that birds, can disappear from Africa's skies. And, and that's certainly something that we are really working very hard to try and prevent. would like to be at a place where voucher declines are reduced favorably. We would like to get to a place where law enforcement officers have the capacity to respond to wildlife poisoning and also other threats. We would like to get to a place where we have information about where the birds go, how they use their habitat, if they are breeding, where they are breeding, we would like to be at a place where we have as many areas in Zambia as possible as voucher safe zones, not only privately owned land, but also national parks, game management areas. We would like to be at a place where people are more aware of vouchers, more appreciative of the role that they play in the environment, because this is a crisis and if nothing is done, we will lose our population of vouchers.